Hi guys, Mad Dog here, the big dog at Microdot Helmet Company. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, uh, how to measure your head, the shape of your head, the shape of our helmets, what to do if you if you wind up on the cusp. Do I go up or do I go down? Pretty simple process, formula really. Um, our helmets have we have two basic helmets: the blister and the twister. Uh, one's more conducive for a round head because it's round in shape. The other's more conducive for an oval-shaped head, and that's would be the twister. So uh, you start with that basic premise of round or oval, and uh, uh, and that only comes in, into play really is if uh, uh, your measurement falls on the cusp, which is in between sizes. So first rule of thumb is measure your head right across here. You know where your helmet line is. Use a, uh, a telephone power cord. It doesn't stretch. It's really easy to tell whether it's drooping or not. And then you lay that out towards a, on a yardstick or lay it out on a uh, uh, you know metal tape just to get the length. That's what you're looking for. Try to get a single measurement. Don't come up with a range. You can't measure three times. You have three different sizes. It doesn't work that way. So the, just take your time and get a single measurement. And if that measurement falls in the size range of the particular helmet that you're trying to buy, then order that size. For example, a medium is 22 and a quarter to 22 and three quarters inches, a half, half inch range there. So if it falls within that, order a medium. Now, uh, a, a large starts at 23 to 23 and a half, another half inch. And uh, if it falls there, order a large. But what happens if you have a 22 and 7 eighths right in between the two sizes? Where's that you're going to break it down? Again, the helmets have two basic shapes. You've got a round helmet, got an oval helmet. Look at your head. Have somebody, if you can't tell, uh, your wife look from the top or somebody look at the top of your head and does it fall under more of an oval shape or more of a round shape? You have 100 heads, you're going to get 100 different shapes but we need to break it down into either round or oval. And so if you're on the cusp and you have a round head and you're trying to buy a round helmet like the blister, then on the cusp, order down because that head shape matches the shape, basic shape of the helmet. If, on the other hand, you have a, a oval shaped head, in other words, your head shape is kind of contrary to the basic shape of the helmet, in this instance, you're going to order up. Real simple. So if your head shape matches that of the, of the helmet you're trying to buy, order down. If it's contrary to the shape of the helmet you're trying to buy, order up. And that's going to give you a, a good rule of thumb on how to get the best fit in one of these helmets. You want them slightly snug. You don't want them tight. Tight to make your eyes pop out and give you a headache. But you want a snug fit because these helmets will expand and take your head shape. It's made out of this polystyrene which is the same chemical makeup as the styrofoam cup. That's that inner lining that protects you. And it, the, the heat from your head, your body will cause that to take your head shape. Now, uh, another area of uh, confusion sometimes is if you were wanting to buy, if you're at uh, an oval head and you're buying a blister, what happens if you put an oval head in a round hole, right? Okay, so you're gonna have pressure front and back. You may even be able to slide a finger or two on the side because why? You're putting an oval shape into a round helmet and vice versa. If you have a, a, a round head into an oval helmet, you're gonna have pressure here and you may be able to get a finger front and back. That's okay. That doesn't mean it doesn't fit you. You can't go up or down based on that because that space is still gonna be there. Why? Because you're putting a oval head in a round helmet. You can't mess with the geometry. So make sure it's comfortable. You want a slightly snug fit, don't want it tight. And uh, if you use that formula, you should be perfect on how that's going to work for you. We're probably running about 95% accurate. So God bless, ride safe. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call. We're there for you. In fact, we're the only company that makes a personal contact with each and every one of our customers that don't go through Amazon or eBay because they don't allow us to do that. But if you uh, go through us, we will make a personal contact through email or even a phone call. We do, uh, uh, not email, uh, text, I apologize. We, we contact you through a text and try to find out what your actual head measurement is. So when we send it to you, we have a much better chance that it's going to fit you. We want to just basically agree with you that the size you ordered is the best size for you. If not, we're going to tell you, and it's your call, right? God bless, ride safe, keep your distance. See you next time.